Russian pranksters, who often target people the Russian state is interested in release footage on June 26 of a video call with British Foreign Secretary David Cameron, after tricking him into thinking he was speaking to a former Ukrainian president. London's Foreign Office said earlier in June that Mr Cameron had held a video call with someone purporting to be former Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko before realizing he was the victim of a hoax. The call, which appears to have lasted around 15 minutes and in which Mr Cameron is shown talking on his mobile phone, dressed casually somewhere outside, was carried out by Russian pranksters who used the aliases Boven and Lexus. The duo is well known inside Russia having duped a string of Western politicians over the years, including Italian Prime Minister Georgia Meloni, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. And, in 2022, then British Defence Minister Ben Wallace. The Foreign Office said on June 26 that the call looked like a Russian information operation designed to distract attention from Moscow's war in Ukraine. It did not answer a question about the video's authenticity. Boven and Lexus have in the past denied Western accusations that they have links to Russia's intelligence services. Though they often ask their victims questions that would be of interest to the Russian state. In the June 26 video, the authenticity of which Reuters could not independently verify. Mr. Cameron is seen and heard talking about sensitive Ukraine-related topics. In particular, he is heard talking about a private dinner he had with U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump in April during which he lobbied Trump to allow Republicans to vote in favor of U.S. military aid for Ukraine. Mr. Cameron is heard saying that the Republican Party is split on Ukraine and that he had told Trump that he was wrong if he thought the Russian leader just wanted Crimea and Donbass. Two of five Ukrainian regions Moscow now says are part of Russia. The Washington Post reported in April that Trump had privately spoken about the option of allowing President Putin to keep Crimea and Donbass in return for peace. Something Trump's campaign has not confirmed. Mr. Cameron is heard saying such an idea is flawed. Trump is convinced there's a deal to be made and that's not the case because Putin wants so much more. Says Mr. Cameron, adding that he thinks Trump, if he wins the presidency, will support the winning side on the battlefield and that is why this summer's fighting is so important. Mr. Cameron is also heard saying Ukraine will not be invited to join the NATO military alliance at a summit in July because Washington is opposed to the idea. Mr. Cameron also says he does not think a potential French plan to send troops to Ukraine is the right approach because they would become a target for Russia's president. In another segment, he is heard recounting a conversation with the foreign minister of Kazakhstan, who he said had told him the Central Asian nation feared Russia, wanted a slice of northern Kazakhstan, where many ethnic Russians live. A spokesperson for Britain's Foreign Office said in a statement. Dot we made public the fact that this call happened weeks ago to do the right thing and make sure others were warned of the risk at the earliest opportunity. The Foreign Secretary understood this was a private call with a Ukrainian politician. This is clearly Russian and is standard practice for information operations. Disinformation is a tactic straight from the Kremlin playbook to try to distract from their illegal activities in Ukraine and the human rights abuses being committed there. Russia denies committing war crimes in Ukraine.